In example three, we're going to look at evaluating with rational exponents. And we're going to be doing that with numbers in our calculator. So I have the calculator up here just to show you how to type it in. But the first thing we're going to take care of each time are these negative exponents, using that rules of negatives that we just looked at. Remember, if we have a negative exponent, we want to get things positive. So if we have 1 over 32, to make this positive, we need to bring that 32 up to the top. So we're going to look at this as 32 raised to the positive 2 over 5. So when we type it in our calculator, so I want you to take a look over here right now. I'm going to go ahead and type it in. We're going to have 32, so let's type in 32. And we are going to raise it, so your, your exponent key hopefully you know that by now, is this little caret key right here underneath the clear button. So that, if we hit that button, that's going to raise us up to the exponent here. And then we want to type in 2 fifths, so we're going to do 2 divided by 5. And then we can go ahead and hit enter, and we get 4. So we know that this is equal to 4. Now, some calculators won't have this exponent up here. So if that's the case, you might have to put that 2 divided by 5 in parentheses depending on which calculator you're using. So be careful on that. Then let's take a look at letter B. We have 81 raised to the negative 3 fourths. We want to make that exponent positive if we can. So we're going to change this. Remember that 81 goes to the bottom to become positive. So we get 81 to the positive 3 fourths. And then it's a lot easier to type into your calculator just the denominator. We're going to leave the numerator as a 1 over, and we're just going to type in 81 to the 3 fourths. So we're going to leave the 1 on top, and we're just trying to figure out the denominator. So we're going to type in 81. We're going to raise it. So remember, we're going to be hitting this button right here, our exponent key, to the 3 fourths. So 3 divided by 4. Hit Enter, and you see that we get... 27, which means that 27 is on the, in the denominator, and we get 1 over 27. Next, I would like you to try a couple on your own. So if we scroll down here, you can see that we have number 1, oops, number 1 and number 2. So pause it, unpause it when you're ready to check your answers. If you did number 1 correctly, you should get number 1 to be 1 over 81. And if you did number 2 correctly, number 2 you should get to be a positive 125. If you have questions on either one of these, please let me know.